Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Lori Houston Art. Thank you for joining me on another Tuesday night and for always following me and my friends in this Tuesday night choo-choo. I would love it if you would share, uh, subscribe and like, and leave me some comments below. I love hearing from you. I have some exciting news tomorrow night. I am going to be collaborating with Britt Clayton from Britt Clayton Design. She's an amazing artist. I'm extremely nervous. I hope I make her proud. We are going to be doing Dutch pours with embellishments. So she will be on at 8 o'clock and I will follow her at 8.15. I would love to see all of you there. I would love your support and um, it's going to be a fun collaboration. So let's get started. So this here is a picture of one that I had already completed and I wanted to show you the um, kind of the holiday fun different types of creations I can make using um, very minimal supplies and a lot of them are supplies that you would already have or you can pick up at the dollar store. So on this canvas right now my husband has went ahead and he has spray painted this red. Okay, so that's where the center is. So I'm gonna put one glass bead down with some tri art liquid glass so that we know where the center is. Right there. Okay, so now we can build off of that. And again, um, I just really wanted to do a quick holiday video. These are beads that you can get from the dollar store. And this is very, very inexpensive to do. Now, of course, you don't have to do it on a gallery wrapped canvas. You could use a cheaper canvas. Um, you can even get a canvas at the dollar store. They have those. Um, I'm actually doing this one for the bazaar, so I wanted to go ahead and um, use a good canvas. What I love about this too is you can keep it kind of, once you got that one at the top, you can then keep it centered and um, just go through and add all your gems. I'm doing clear here on this red and I'm gonna get them all lined. This is gonna be kind of a, um, I could go a little wider, maybe. There we go. Give it a little shape. My husband's actually making me a template so that I don't have to go through this every time. Just be easier. Okay, just make sure it's straight. It's good to when you get at this point, um, you know, down the halfway down the tree, you can go ahead and measure. And it's rated about, let's put it at two to be safe. And come over here. And it is rated two. Good. Okay. And then we just keep going down and adding our gems.
I have that in, I'm actually going to take my liquid glass and I'm going to go through and I'm just going to go around the gems just like this so that they stick all of the gems. That one's actually stick touching, so you want them to be kind of even. Okay, there we go. Go on the outside edge as much as you can. You could always adhere them after if you have to. Okay, I'm just looking to see if I missed any. There. All right. Next, I'm going to add some of these cool little beads. Again, the dollar store. And I'm going to put them in. Okay, everybody, don't forget FAE is coming up on November 17th, 18th, and 19th. I would love to see you all there. I'll be there assisting pieces of Tara's artistry again in her classroom. There are so many amazing artists. Be sure to check out Massey Art Studio. Their channel has all the details so that you won't miss this great event. I'm going to kind of go through and fill in some of this with liquid glass. some of these red gems whenever I can put them in. Yep. I might have to put a little bit on the bottom. There we go. Pretty pretty. And I think I'll do uneven. So I'm going to do one right here. Okay, I'm going to let that set on it. A little bit of glitter. Mm -hmm. This is chunky glitter. So it'll show through real oh, good. gems, these gems. There we go. Other ones I don't really care. Not the red ones. Okay. Then we're going to put some gold balls in there. So I'm just continuing to go in, putting liquid glass and some of these little, uh, these are vase filler balls that you can get. I think they're called glitter filler um, for a vase and um, they're very light and airy. They, you know, float around, but um, if you use an adhesive with them right away, they will stay in place and they do add a lot of nice touches to your artwork. Um, so it's a layering. Like I said, you add a little bit um, more of the balls, then you put more liquid glass down. And I decided to use red and gold foil here. That's what you're seeing me add now. Um, it comes in a little container. I'm not thrilled that I decided to do that. It is very messy. I won't probably use that again in a tree. Um, but I will tell you the Let's Resin Champagne Gold Glitter that I'm putting on now is the ticket. The iridescent glitters I got from Just Resin are amazing. Um, they just really have a high effect. 
Okay, so now we're going to add some liquid glass to the bottom of the canvas and put some of that iridescent glitter. It just does has such a great finishing touch whenever I use any of these glitters. Um, and then I realized um, when I did this, I looked up and my camera was off. So the next step is I'm going in, I'm, I'm fiddle faddling with the tree topper. I decided this definitely was not going to be a sea or an ocean themed Christmas tree. So I removed the, um, the starfish, but the starfish at the top is really a good baseline to keep your um, piece uh, straight and um, centered. So it was good that I kept it up there. And now I'm just going to add some of those small filler beads to the bottom to add a little depth. And um, just it sticks very easily to the liquid glass. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, put red gold, red gold, um, some of those larger beads or balls around the top of the glitter. And that's where my camera cut off. But it is literally just a layering effect. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the tree trunk. I'll see you there. Okay, so we are getting ready to add the tree trunk. And the cool thing about these little pieces of wood, I ordered them from Amazon. And they, I, I was it actually Amazon or Etsy, I think it was Amazon. And my husband split them in half so they would lay flat on the canvas. Um, I know we could have went outside and we probably could have um, we have so many trees and we could have cut our own and that might have been the right thing to do. Um, but these um, these little tree uh, trunks, the way they come, they're perfectly shaped. There's not much that you have to do. I'm applying the um, liquid glass and I'm just using a, a quick uh, Q-tip to get the um, seepage, the excess um, tri-art liquid glass around the edges. And those little Q-tips are from the um, Dollar Tree, which is awesome. I love it because they have like a little fine tip on the end. So now that I have my um, tree trunk in place, I'm just going around some of the balls with the liquid glass. And now we are going to stencil our star on the top. Let's go stencil. Hi everybody. Okay, I've got this little stencil. I'm going to put a little bit of my um, soft gel gloss and I think I'm going to use some of these little gold shards and then I also have some of these little micro beads. Not sure which I'm going to use. We're going to see. I need a very, very small um, little tool to spread this out. I think I've got a small one. Let's see. Right there. And I don't want a lot. I'm just gonna do this. Get that off of there. Get all the way. hard when it's little like this and there's a spot over here it's missed. Then okay. And I'm going to put some of this gold on here before I lift the stencil this time because it's so little. Some of these beads. Okay, and I'm going to get my tweezers, a very fine point, there we go, perfect, okay, that's good. Now, most likely, let's get our brush. A little brush that I'm gonna brush this off. I can probably. 
actually slide these little beads up onto it a little bit more. I think that's the thing to do. I'm gonna, actually I wanna get this wiped off first. Everybody, okay, I can't wait to show you the final results. It absolutely turned out amazing. We used a lot of different things today. Um, I wanted to go over a quick list from the Dollar Tree. You can get your um, acrylic gems. I use them in red. From the Dollar Tree, you can get these vase fillers. I used them in gold. From the Dollar Tree, you can use these glitter vase fillers. I use them in gold and red. From the Dollar Tree, there's these little helium looking, um, I don't know, little pieces. I use them in gold. Then from the Dollar Tree, they have these, they are called um, glass gems. I use clear. From the Dollar Tree, I think I just did these, right? The gems, I did them in red. What else? We use Triart liquid glass to adhere everything to the canvas. So you can get this on Amazon or you can go to um, fluidartco.com and they sell it as well. What else, did I miss anything? Oh, the um, this is how the foil comes, red and gold foil. The only reason I won't use it again because it wanted to stick to the um, canvas. I used uh, spray paint. We used a um, Krylon Color Max, but it was in red. That was what the canvas was sprayed with. And we will finish it with Mod Podge Gloss Clear Acrylic Sealer. It's the only application on seashells and something like this that I use this. I do not use this on anything else but that type of application. There are some um, sea glass added to the tree that was not on the video because of the camera stopping. And oh, I can't forget my favorite glitters that I was talking about are these Let's Resin glitters. This one is green opal. They're beautiful. Um, the glitter that I used, I actually used all of it. They come in very small bottles. Here's a purple opal. So, I'm sorry you hear my little lily bell barking outside. But anyway, these glitters are amazing. If you don't have them, you should check them out. They really add just a lot of shimmer and shine to your projects. So, that is all the products that we used today. Now, let's go look at the final results. See you there. Can I just say, wow, these final results are amazing. I wish you could see it in real life. It is stunning. I am so pleased with the end result. Please stay tuned. Nate Bright is up next. And then, don't forget, tomorrow I will be doing a collaboration with Britt Clayton at Britt Clayton Designs. So I will see you tomorrow night at 8 o'clock on Britt's channel, and then I will follow her at 8.15. Thanks, everyone.